Hey guys, it's Rob here from Dodge and Fusky in for PluginBoutique.com. I'm going to be doing a very short video on Volume Shaper 4 by Cable Guys. Um, it's one of those uh, kind of like triggered and uh, synchronized kind of sidechain replacement plugins. You might have seen a few of them around. Uh, there are other products, but this one is a really, really good one. I'm going to show you why in a second because of its versatility. Uh, very quickly, I'm just going to show its kind of most common use, which is kind of doing sequenced kind of sidechain emulation. Uh, so I'm going to play like a bass line that, that's at the moment going to be kind of quite clashing with the kicks and snares and there's not going to be a lot of separation and it's going to be hard to hear the drums and I'm going to turn it on to show you what it can be used to do. So as you can hear, like the kicks and the snares aren't really standing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on, and I've got it set up that every half bar, it's going to be doing this pattern very much here, and you can graphically see when I hit play what it's going to do. Uh, so yeah, you can hear the kicks and the snares now cutting through because of the way uh, it's um, kind of running through on a pattern doing this. So obviously you can do this with sidechain compression, but the advantage with this is you can draw the exact curve that you want and like, you know, trying to like set up an, a release and ratio to do it exactly like that is going to be an absolute nightmare using traditional sidechain compression. Now, the first thing you probably might say is, oh, what happens if I'm not using a standard on a grid kind of, you know, I'm using a more a asynchronous kind of beat like drum and bass. Okay, well, no problem. Um, I'm going to quickly play you a, an example without the compression on it first. So again, you'll hear the drums, kicks and snares getting muddled. And now I'm going to open up uh, the volume shaper that I have on this, which is set to uh, MIDI one sh really trigger. You can either have that it will re-trigger the beginning of the pattern, or what I particularly like is just a one-shot. So every time a MIDI hit, MIDI hit comes in, it will duck, and then it will just stay as it was before. So I've got MIDI notes here. You can configure it to be whatever you want. There's loads of flexibility, but I've just got it set to accept any incoming note from a MIDI channel pointing at it to do the ducking when the kick comes in. Okay, now I'm going to show you another example. Um, this is one of the things that some of the competitors can't do, which is where you can have multi-band uh, triggering. So you can bring down as many bands as you want. On this, I've got two bands, but you can have three if you want. Um, and by clicking the band, you can configure different envelopes for each one. So on this uh, kind of bass loop here, I've just got the low band, which I'm kind of bringing up quite here so you can hear its effect a bit more dramatically. But it's going to be anything above the frequency here, which I've set to 4.5k, won't be... Won't be duck but below it will so obviously that could be really useful if you're kind of trying to uh you know do kind of big room house and you want to like duck anything that's clashing with the kick punch but you don't want to have a whole pumping sound pretty useful and uh finally i'm going to show you um one other use that i've found i mean there's there's loads of uses but like you know i'm just showing you what i personally use it for i want to give you a very kind of insightful look at it and this is uh, as an envelope tool um, on, say, a kick drum. So, got a kick like that. You can shorten it. Uh, there's loads and loads of presets in here as well. So you've got kind of rhythmic stuff. Um, you can, uh, this is kind of a trimming stuff for making kind of kick envelopes. There's a ducking for the sidechain stuff. And there's also a whole library of different stuff. Um, which comes with it as well and um being cable guys there's, there's a huge amount of variety in there you know pretty much everything that you can conceivably want to do with the plugin is going to be in there realistically so yeah hopefully this has given you a good idea of what the plugin can do like i say there are others out there but i think this is probably the most refined one out there at the moment in terms of flexibility and i really like how the waveform shows up over the top of this while you're using it anyway this has been rob from dodge and fusky in for pluginboutique.com yeah.